Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have some really fun cards for you. They're part of the Creative Inking Blog Hub. And we are concentrating on love today. Now it seems odd to be concentrating on love in April, but I think this is the perfect opportunity to share with you this stamp set lots of heart and also the many heart dies this is a bundle in the jj mini catalog i love using stamp sets that seem like they're made for one thing valentine's day for other all occasion cards because it really does boost the value on the stamp set or bundle so i have a cool technique for you i have some bright colorful cards i'm going to share i can't hardly wait to show you let's flip this camera around and get started so, like I said, I wanted to use the Lots of Heart bundle. Now, this stamp set comes with 11 different images in it and some really great sentiments that has nothing to do with Valentine's Day, but you could certainly use this for Valentine's Day, too. Then we have the Many Hearts dies, and look at all of these little beauties. Got some big hearts. Um, a couple of these, these do different things. This cuts out a very thin little margin. Let me show you that. Got a few samples here. This not only cuts out the inside of this heart, but it also cuts out a heart that looks like this. You can see this was, this was inside here and then I cut another heart out of it with this one. So there's all kinds of really fun things that you can do. Valentine's Day, weddings, anniversary cards, but you can also make all occasion cards with this particular bundle of product. So I'm going to show you a couple all occasion cards. Ooh, this is one of my favorite little, the hugs and kisses, their hearts and X's, right? I'm gonna show you some really neat projects that I made that I can use any time of year. So let me get this put back in here. Um, I need this one and this one and this one. We're going to be using these dies right here. Okay, I'm going to bring in the layers for my first card. This is a card base of Mangle Melody at five and a half by eight and a half. And please know that you can find all the dimensions, still photos, a complete shopping list, like what color inks I used and what's the name of that ribbon on my blog right here. And at the end of the video, there's gonna be a link you can click on that will take you right there. Then I've got a piece of basic white that is four by five and a quarter. This is gonna be for the inside. Another piece of basic white that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I'm using the True Love Designer Series paper. And here is just a little sampling of all the gorgeous black and white patterns that are part of this paper pack. This is available in our JJ Mini catalog. There is still some available. This is going to be retiring on May, I think May 3rd is our last, is it May 3rd or June? June 30th, this paper will be available or while supplies last. So if you love black and white paper, there's so many different things you can do with this and techniques. You can color these in with your blends, with your markers, with a water painter, you can brayer over them. You can color in the little areas if you like to color and make them all different colors. These are so much fun. We're gonna be using the stripe today because I loved the big bold stripe. And then we've got a bunch of scraps here. So I've got Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Mango Melody, Gorgeous Grape, and Coastal Cabana. And what I'm gonna do with these I'm gonna bring my little, little boss. We've got a big boss and a little boss. This is my little boss. This is nice if you're working with smaller dies. And of course this heart that I'm going to die cut certainly counts for that. Okay, so we're gonna be taking this layer and I'm going to stack these two dies together. So I've got the outline and then this cute polka dot heart. And you wanna grab some washi tape or some temporary tape. This is a brand new piece of temporary tape and I'm just going to put it on my shirt a couple times so it's not super sticky. 
I'm gonna center this in here and I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't move on me. That's really important. You don't want your dies overlapping each other because they'll, they'll get ruined. And then we're going to die cut this. And here comes our cute little heart. All, almost all the little polka dots will fall right out of there, which is awesome. I see one more. There it went, boom. You'll have polka dots everywhere. All right, I'm gonna set this aside so I don't lose it. And then with all the rest of these colors, I have already die cut my little hearts, okay? So we've got one in each one of these colors. And I think we are ready to assemble our card. Well, we have a little bit of stamping to do. So I'm gonna take the larger of these two basic white layers. I just wanna make sure this is the larger one that goes on the inside. And then I've got a 3 8 inch wide strip of cardstock. We're gonna stamp our sentiment on there. And the sentiment that I chose is scent with lots of heart. And this can be an all occasion card, like I said, and I love that. So, Memento Black Ink. And there we go, that turned out really nice. Yay, winning. And then I'm gonna bring in my Classic Label Punch. Now, I cut this piece, this little strip of white or basic white cardstock, the same width as this, which is three eighths of an inch. I'm going to bring this in here now. So you see this punch is too long or the punch is too short for this sentiment, but you can make your own size. I'm going to feed it in to the big side, not try to feed it into the end at first. That's very frustrating. You're gonna feed it in to the big side. Maybe, hang on. There we go. Feed it into the big side and then you're gonna twist it around so it goes down on the edge and punch that out. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. Feed it into the long edge and then push it around the bend. Whoops, I did the wrong end. Pay attention, Kelly. <laughs> here we go. And now we're gonna feed it down to the end and get it punched off perfect every time. You can make these as short or as long as you need to. This punch is also retiring. I don't even know what I'm going to do without it. But here we go. And then we have a little bit of stamping to do on the inside. So I thought this would make a great thank you card and you could use it as a birthday card, a get well card, whatever. Get well card would be really good. But I am going to use it as a thank you card because those are the kind of cards that I need most. Mango Melody ink here with this polka dot heart. Look at how cute that is. And then I thought would look, what would look really neat is this thank you stamped right down here. And that's gonna be the inside of our card. So we've got a lot of room to write here. Of course, you could stamp this up as much as you want, but that's what I chose to do with it. And I thought it was kind of different. Okay. Here comes my card base. I'm gonna get this inside right away. I am using multi-purpose liquid glue. It is my favorite adhesive because it gives you a little wiggle room. Now, the one thing that you really need to make sure when you're using the liquid glue is you're using very little amount of it so it doesn't squish out, right? We don't want a big mess. I'm grabbing my mini dimensionals here and I'm going to and about three of them. I wanna give this layer good support because it's a little bit longer. So this is our little sentiment layer. And then we're going to, I need to burnish this again because it's not, there we go. And now we're going to take our layers and put them together. This designer series paper is gonna go on the white layer and that's really gonna help it pop. I've really been into this lately, putting the white layers behind my designer series paper for that pop. And it really does look nice. We can add this right to the front of our card. And I also like using the um, smaller size for these front layers. This is, you know, 
the, the designer paper is three and three quarters by five, which leaves more card border for you to see, especially when they're pretty colors. Okay, next up, let me get my hair out of here. We're going to arrange our hearts on here. And I think what I wanted to do is this, and maybe a little bit of this. Do you hear the nail gun going? That is my bathroom. Fred is here, he's my um, handyman, and he is doing the finishing touches on my remodel of my bathroom. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is, right? I love this. So I arranged it like this first, and you can do it however you want. I'm just showing you the way I did it, and it's pretty easy. I'm going to put my heart down here and add a little bit of glue to each one of these, offset them just a bit. I want them to look kind of random. And we're gonna go over here and we'll put that one right there. Purple one. How about right a little bit over from that one so there, I don't want them lining up perfectly. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Here comes this last one. And then we're gonna take this. I've got my take your pick tool here. I love to use this to take the backing off my dimensionals. We're gonna bring in our little heart sentiment. And we're gonna add that. I wanna make sure it's straight before I push it down. That looks great. Isn't that so pretty? Then I'm gonna come in with my rhinestones. And I've got a big one here. I'm just gonna put some rhinestones randomly. This is a medium size one. And this is a little one. I think I'll pop that right over there. And that's just gonna add a little bit of bling to this super bright, pretty card. I love the black and white paper, you guys. This true love paper, wait till you see the next card we're gonna make because it uses a really cool technique with the black and white paper. And then we've got an envelope. And I think what I'll do with my envelope is I will just stamp again, this little polka dot heart on here. And that's gonna be just nice and simple, but still cute that it will go together, right? I love the inside too. Okay, now we've got one more card to make. And I'm gonna bring in that Bermuda Bay ink this time. And my card layers. So I've got basic white thick that I've scored at five and a half inches. This is four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna get that edge burnished really good. Then I've got Bermuda Bay that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. This layer is five by three, and, or I'm sorry, three and three quarters by five basic white. I got a couple half inch strips of basic white and this is gonna be for our sentiment on the front. I just wanted to show you. When I cut my cardstock down so that I have all these inside layers at four by five and a quarter to go in my cards, you get all these half inch strips and I like to save some of them in a little bag like this so that I have sentiment layers. They work perfect for that. We also need a couple scraps. I've got Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana as our scraps. I've also got an envelope here that we can decorate up. And last but not least, I have taken the scraps from my designer series paper. And if you don't have any scraps, go ahead and cut it because you're gonna need strips. And I've got half inch strips. I've got three quarter inch strips. I've also got another card to share with you using a different focal point color and some different sizes, one inch strips of this paper. So we'll just see what we need. I'm gonna be using the random patterned side of the True Love Designer Series paper versus the floral side, okay? So we're gonna be using, I see one is turned over here. Here we go. We're gonna be using this side again. You can come up with all kinds of ideas to use with that floral side. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna do a little stamping on the inside. So I've got my Bermuda Bay ink here and we've got this long heart stamp. So what I wanted to do, whoops, I just stuck the end of it in the ink pad, hang on. What I wanted to do is I wanted to ink up all but the last heart on here. I'm gonna take a look at it, make sure I don't have any ink on this last heart. 
And then I'm going to stamp these hearts right down the side of the inside of my card. Look how cute that is. So that's gonna be the inside of the card. Next, as long as we're stamping, we're gonna take one of these half inch strips and I have two of them out here in case I make a mistake. They're just scraps. You can, you know, stamp it again. I've got my Bermuda Bay ink and I'm going to, I gotta stand up so I can make sure I'm getting this straight. Stamp that, that looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also going to clean off my polka dot heart because as long as I have this one out, I might as well decorate my envelope with my Bermuda Bay ink. So I'm just gonna put one little heart on there, perfect. And we'll get this closed up. Next thing, I'm gonna take this double heart that we used on the last card and we are going to find our scrap pieces. Here they are. I'm going to die cut the little heart on Bermuda Bay and the bigger heart on the Coastal Cabana. So hang tight, I'll be right back. And here we go, we've got both of those. So now we're gonna do our technique. This is really a lot of fun. It's called the chevron technique. And we're gonna do it on that white piece of basic white. This was um, five by three and three quarters. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in one place. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of these one inch strips and I'm gonna start it right here. So. I'm gonna take and put glue all over the front of this layer. Okay, so it's kind of very thin all over the place. And then you're just gonna start at one point and you're going to add one of your layers. Now I like to kind of alternate the light color with the dark color. So next thing I'm gonna do, this was a one inch strip. This is a three quarter inch strip. I am going to bring this in and put it, butt it right up against that piece. And now I'm gonna come in with some different layers. This is a one inch strip. Now this is a good reason to save those scraps, right? And here comes another one. And you can change this around and move it around and change your pattern any way you would like. Let's do this striped one. So I'm going dark light, dark light. And you can also do this with a paper other than black and white paper. So here comes this one. And I wanna pick a different pattern. So go, we'll go with this one. And I'm just pushing it over the edge as far as you need to. And then how about this one? That fits in there perfect. Let's see, do I have any more light colored? We're gonna have to trim some of these off so I can have some more pieces. So I'm gonna turn this over and I'm just gonna cut these off and cut these off just like this. Okay, now we have lots more strips to work with. Yep, I want one of these. Let's see, you have to have a straight cut end to be able to do this. You know what, I think I would like to put one in here that is a little thicker. So let me grab my paper trimmer. It's better to use your trimmer so you can get this really straight versus your scissors. So I'm just gonna cut that off like that. And I'm gonna bring this in here. That way I don't have to piece another little piece in there because I just need it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add some more glue because I know this is starting to dry. And we'll grab this one and add this right here. Isn't this fun? I had so much fun doing this. Here's one of these little pieces. Now I just need a little piece on the end there, so I'll just do this as long as it butts up in there and fits. And I think we have covered everything. Now, let's see if we can put this. Before I used my scissors to cut this off, but this time I'm gonna see if we can, you're gonna have to cut one side with your scissors. 
And I like to use the um, white cardstock on the back as my guide so I make sure that I'm getting this nice and straight. You don't want it to look all weird, okay? Once you have this done, now we can use our paper trimmer and put this in here and see if we can cut these. Look at that, perfect. This is so, so simple and so spectacular. And one more. So you just wanna fit that right up to the channel, your cutting channel. Look at how cool that is, you guys. Is that not the neatest thing? You can do this with any kind of designer paper. It doesn't have to be like geometric patterns like that. But what we're gonna do with this now is we're going to add it to that Bermuda Bay layer. And again, this is called a chevron paper piecing technique. And here we go. Make sure I'm getting this on here even. That looks great. Then I'm gonna come in with the Coastal Cabana heart here. And we're gonna put that right here. Here comes our Bermuda Bay heart. And I wanna add that with some dimensionals. Here's my dimensionals. One here, one here. That'll hold it up good. And then we're gonna put that right here. Here's our little strip. So I thought what I'd do on this one is I would just flag this end. I think I want it to be a little bit shorter. I'm gonna just flag that end, put a little notch in the center, and then come in from each corner. That's the easiest way to make those little flag ends. And then we're going to cut this. Oh, let's try right there. We'll see what happens. Let's see if we can get that in there. Yep, that's gonna be just about perfect. I should have, hang on, I'm gonna pull this off for a second. And I'm gonna get this dimensional out of my way because it's kind of getting in my way. I'll put instead a couple smaller mini dimensionals on here to help support this, but it won't get in the way for me to tuck that little banner underneath. Yep, I think that's gonna work really good. So here we go. And now I'm gonna put some mini dimensionals under this banner. Pop that up a little bit. Oops, and we can slide it right into place. We might have to trim it a little bit. Oh, actually that looks just perfect. Make sure that I have that straight. That looks great. And then what I thought I'd do with this one, where did my, here are my rhinestones. I say, where did my rhinestones go? I'm gonna take one of the large rhinestones and I'm going to put that right up here in the corner of my heart. And now we're ready to put this on our card front. I had so much fun making these cards. I've got a couple extra color combinations here to show you with both cards actually. I had so much fun making these cards, I couldn't hardly stop myself. So let me get this out of the way. Here is our chevron paper piecing technique. And we've got our matching envelope there. This was one that I did with Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. And which one do you guys like better? I wanna hear, leave a comment in the comments under the video. I wanna hear which one you like better. This is the one that we made with the Mango Melody. I also have one with the Magenta Madness. Which one do you like better in that one? I wanna hear. So let me know. I hope you will think about these types of stamp sets that you, I would normally just go, oh, Valentine's Day. So many more things that you can do. And I just really think that this is gonna make my friends and family very happy. These are bright and colorful and a lot of fun. And the set of dies that goes with this bundle is amazing. So make sure you get this. So both of these are retiring with this mini catalog. They are both while supplies last right now. Oh, hang on, I got kind of a mess going on here. So make sure that if this is something you think that you would like to add to your stamping supplies that you get them before they're gone. They are a lot of fun and you have so much more you can make besides Valentine's. Now, at the beginning of my video, I told you this was part of a blog hop with the Creative Inking blog 
or design team. And if you click right up here, you are going to be directed to my blog. My blog address is right here. I always appreciate your orders. So if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like to place an order, I always appreciate orders. This is my current host code. You'll always find that in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every blog post on my blog. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Thank you so much for joining me for this blog hop tonight. Make sure you click here to hop along. You're going to find a list on my blog where you can hop along with and see what everybody else made with the theme of love for the month of April. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Bye-bye.